I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed with fermented drinks. But what really is the difference between kombucha, ginger bug, water kefir and wild sodas? Welcome to Fermentation 101, where we explore the magical world of microbes one bubbly jar at a time. The main difference is using a starter culture versus wild fermentation. Think of kefir grains or a kombucha scoby as reusable microbial powerhouses. They're a community of yeast and bacteria living together, pre-assembled and ready to work. These starters give you reliable, fast and consistent results. You'll get the same tang, fizz and flavor profile batch after batch, which is ideal if you want predictability or are just starting out. In contrast, with wild fermentation like ginger bugs or wild fermented sodas, you're not adding a starter. Instead, you're inviting wild microbes from your produce and your environment to do the job. The results are less reliable and may vary depending on the temperature, the quality of your fruit or even the microbes floating in the air. But that's also the magic of it. You can end up with truly unique, one-of-a-kind flavors that no starter can replicate. So which one's better? It's really just preference. If you're looking for efficiency and consistency, go with a starter. If you're craving creativity, unique flavors and want to take advantage of seasonal produce, go wild. Both are extremely delicious and full of probiotics to support a healthy gut.